so in the last class we have seen about the expression uh, of loss of energy due to the hydraulic jump so we have we have seen two derivations one is uh, the depth that is your sequent depth formula that is y2 divided by y1 and the expression for the loss of energy delta e or h this equation this equations we have seen so with this equation we there there is some problems now you can see the hydraulic jump problems so read the problem so first you have to find out the write down the given data whatever it is what uh, whatever the problem it is first you have to write the given data so what is the given data here the channel is a rectangular channel it is given in the problem okay they have given the width as 4 meter and the uh, depth is 0.5 meter they have mentioned it clearly at certain section the depth is 0.5 meter okay they didn't specify whether the uh, depth is before the jump or after the jump they didn't mention it they have mentioned only at a certain section the depth is 0.5 meter so y1 is equal to 0.5 and the discharge is equal to 16 meter cube per second if the jump takes place on the downstream side find the depth of the flow after the jump but they have asked you to find out the depth of the jump flow after the jump that is y2 you have to find out so this depth will be your y1 that's why we have written it as y1 clear what are the given data the channel is a rectangular channel it is given width of the channel is 4 meter is given they have mentioned uh, q is equal to 16 meter cube per second they ask you to find out the depth of flow after the jump that is y2 so the given depth will be y1 okay what is the formula y2 divided by y1 is equal to this much so what is the formula in this formula you have to find what is the fruit number what is the fruit number formula v1 divided by root of g into y1 how to find out v1 v1 is equal to q divided by a1 so you can find out what is v1 substitute the value here and you can find out what is fruit number After substitute in the equation fruit number is equal to we have found out the answer is 13.047 so substitute in this equation y2 divided by y1 is equal to this one from that you will get y2 by y1 is equal to this much already y1 is given so you can easily find out what is y2 clear the next problem is uh, the next problem what is the given data read the problem so here uh, what are the given data channel is a rectangular channel depth is 0.3 meter width is 2 meter and discharge is given what you have to find whether the hydraulic jump will occur or not that we are going to find it out with the given data you have to find whether the hydraulic jump will occur or not okay what is the other thing you have to find the height of the jump and you have to find the loss of energy okay so how to find whether the hydraulic jump will occur or not what is hydraulic jump you are changing depth sudden change in the depth that is sudden increase in the depth you can't mention sudden change it is a sudden increase in the depth that is very very important if there is a sudden increase in the depth then the hydraulic jump we can tell it as a hydraulic jump so if y1 if it is y1 your velocity will be greater than the after the jump that is v1 will be greater than v2 so if the here the fruit number is greater than 1 so here for what is the formula if the fruit number is greater than 1 supercritical flow then it is a hydraulic jump then the hydraulic jump will occur okay the depth will be very small at the same time velocity will be higher if the velocity is higher fruit number will be greater than 1 but if the fruit number is greater than 1 then it is a supercritical flow if it is a supercritical flow at the initial depth okay then it, then the hydraulic jump will occur okay then what is the formula for finding the height of the jump y2 divided by y1 you have to write in the equation and what is the uh, formula for loss of energy delta i is equal to this equation okay first you have to find the fruit number with the initial depth that is with y1 you have to find the fruit number 
if the fruit number is greater than 1 then the hydraulic jump will occur okay after that you can find out what is the height of the jump and the loss of energy okay so what is the solution they have given the uh, they have given the depth as 0.3 meter they have given so with that 0.3 meter you can find out what is the fruit number so fruit number as the fruit number is greater than 1 we can mention hydraulic jump will occur okay so uh, you have to find the another depth how to find the another depth you know the formula y2 divided by y1 uh, so here so here what is f1 f1 is nothing but v1 v1 divided by root of f1 is v1 divided by root of g y1 what is v1 v1 is nothing but v1 is nothing but q by a1 okay already we have found out the fruit number because the first question is whether the hydraulic jump will occur or not for that itself we have found out what is the fruit number okay so you can substitute this value directly here and you can find out what is y2 so the depth of hydraulic jump will be y2 minus y1 clear so lot of loss of energy delta e is equal to y2 minus y1 the whole cube divided by 4 y1 y2 substitute all the values in this equation and you can easily find out what is the delta e okay so instead of uh, there is an another method for finding out whether the hydraulic jump will occur or not so how to find that is um, this is one method by using the fruit number you can find out the hydraulic jump will occur or not so what is the second method is specific energy curve is it this is your specific energy curve here we have taken it as this is yc here it will be y2 and here it will be y1 that's right so this in this point at critical depth your fruit number will be equal to 1 below the critical depth your fruit number will be greater than 1 and above the fruit number your fruit number above this fruit number that is this line fr is equal to 1 above this your fruit number will be less than 1 then it is a subcritical flow here it is supercritical flow here it is a subcritical flow so here the depth is yc when the supercritical flow occurs your depth will be less than your critical depth that is y1 is less than yc that will be supercritical flow okay so you can find if you are finding yc if you are calculating yc compare this yc with y1 okay the with the given depth if this y the given depth is less than if your given depth is if your given depth is less than yc then the hydraulic jump will occur understood understood this we are telling it by using the specific energy curve we know at critical depth the fruit number is equal to 1 okay below that point that is whenever the depth is less than your critical depth your fruit number will be greater than 1 because your velocity increases the fruit number will again increases you will have the supercritical flow okay so by comparing this depth to depth okay by comparing the depth with the critical depth you can tell whether the hydraulic jump will occur or not okay you can use uh, you can find out by using a fruit number or you can by, uh, tell by comparing the two depth for finding the critical depth you know the formula yc is equal to q square divided by g the whole power 1 by 3 so uh, we got the answer as 0.383 but the given depth is 0.3 so your critical depth is greater than your given depth so the hydraulic jump will occur either one you have to use either you have to uh, find out the answer by using the fruit number or by using the critical depth method clear